Hey there, fellow travelers. Today, we're venturing to a place where myth meets reality, Mont Saint-Michel. This tidal island rising dramatically from the sea off the coast of Normandy, France, has captivated hearts and minds for centuries. With its towering abbey and medieval ramparts, Mont Saint-Michel feels like a place frozen in time. Imagine a place where the tides dictate life, where the ground beneath your feet disappears twice a day. That's Mont Saint-Michel. This mystical island, once a pilgrimage site, now draws visitors from around the world. As you approach the island either by foot or across the causeway, you can't help but feel a sense of awe. The abbey, perched high atop the island, seems to pierce the sky. Its silhouette, constantly changing with the light, is a photographer's dream. So join me as we delve deeper into the heart of Mont Saint-Michel. Get ready for an unforgettable journey to one of France's most iconic destinations. Our exploration of Mont Saint-Michel begins with its heart and soul, the Abbey. Legend has it that in 708 AD, the Archangel Michael appeared to Aubert, the Bishop of Avranches, in a dream. The Archangel instructed him to build a sanctuary on the island. Aubert, initially skeptical, ignored the divine message. Michael, however, was not one to be ignored. He appeared to Aubert two more times, each time more insistent than the last. During his final appearance, the Archangel pressed his finger into Aubert's skull, leaving a physical reminder of his command. Aubert, his skepticism overcome by the burning pain in his head, finally relented. Construction of the Abbey began, a monumental task, considering the island's unique challenges. The Abbey we see today is the result of centuries of construction and expansion. It's a testament to the dedication of those early builders. The Abbey of Mont Saint-Michel is an architectural marvel, a fascinating blend of Romanesque and Gothic styles. As you explore its ramparts, courtyards, and chapels, you'll notice the evolution of architectural styles over the centuries. The Abbey's lower levels, with their sturdy Romanesque arches and thick walls, reflect the initial construction phase. As you ascend higher, the architecture transitions to the soaring heights of the Gothic style. The Abbey's spire, crowned with a statue of St. Michael, seems to touch the heavens. The Abbey's interior is just as impressive, with its vaulted ceilings, stained glass windows and ornate decorations. One of the most striking features of the Abbey is its cloister. This serene space, surrounded by a covered walkway, offers stunning views of the bay. The high walls and strategic location made Mont Saint-Michel an impregnable fortress. During the Hundred Years' War, the Abbey withstood multiple sieges by the English. While the Abbey is undoubtedly the crown jewel of Mont Saint-Michel, don't miss the opportunity to explore the rest of this fascinating island. Venture beyond the Abbey walls, and you'll discover a labyrinth of narrow streets, winding staircases, and hidden courtyards. This is where the true charm of Mont Saint-Michel comes alive. Notice the old houses, some dating back to the 15th and 16th centuries, with their timber-framed facades and colorful shutters. Look for the quirky shops selling local crafts, souvenirs, and of course, the island's famous omelets. One hidden gem is the parish church of Saint-Pierre, tucked away in the village. This charming church, dating back to the 15th century, offers a more intimate religious experience than the Grand Abbey. Another must-see is the historical museum, housed in a former residence. As you explore, take your time, get lost in the maze-like streets, and soak in the atmosphere. From ancient wells to secret gardens, Mont Saint-Michel is full of surprises waiting to be discovered. Mont Saint-Michel, steeped in history and shrouded in mystery, is a place where legends are born. Over the centuries, the island has inspired countless tales of miracles, battles, and ghostly encounters. One of the most enduring legends is that of the quicksand. It was said that the tides around Mont Saint-Michel were so treacherous that they could swallow a man whole. While the quicksand is more myth than reality, the tides are indeed a force to be reckoned with. Another popular tale involves a mysterious knight who is said to roam the abbey ramparts at night. Some say he is the ghost of a former guard forever protecting the island from invaders. Others believe he is the spirit of a monk searching for lost treasure. Whether you believe in ghosts or not, the stories add a certain mystique to the island. Beyond the legends, Mont Saint-Michel has also inspired artists and writers for centuries. Mont Saint-Michel's unique location, nestled in the heart of a vast bay, offers more than just breathtaking views. The bay itself is a treasure trove of natural wonders, home to a diverse ecosystem and a constantly changing landscape. 
Exploring the bay is an experience in itself, offering a different perspective on this iconic landmark. One of the best ways to experience the bay is on foot. Guided walking tours are available, led by experienced guides who can navigate the tides and point out the bay's hidden secrets. As you walk across the sand, you'll encounter a variety of marine life including crabs, shellfish, and even seals, if you're lucky. For a truly unique adventure, consider a horseback ride across the bay. Several local stables offer guided tours, allowing you to experience the bay like a true medieval traveler. As you ride across the sand, feel the wind in your hair and listen to the sound of the waves crashing in the distance. It's an experience you won't soon forget. No trip to Mont Saint-Michel is complete without indulging in the local culinary delights. The region is renowned for its fresh seafood, savory lamb dishes and of course, the legendary omelettes of Mer Poulard. Start your day with a traditional French breakfast at one of the many cafes in the village. Enjoy a fresh croissant, a pan au chocolat, or a tartine with butter and jam. Accompany your pastry with a strong cup of coffee or a creamy hot chocolate. For lunch or dinner, head to one of the restaurants overlooking the bay. Sample the local seafood, including mussels, oysters, and scallops, freshly caught from the waters surrounding the island. Another regional specialty is the salt marsh lamb, known for its tender meat and slightly salty flavor. And of course, no visit to Mont Saint-Michel is complete without trying the famous omelettes of Mer Poulard. This iconic restaurant, established in 1888, is renowned for its fluffy, oversized omelettes. After a day of exploring the island and its surroundings, you'll need a comfortable and welcoming place to rest your head. For a truly unforgettable experience, consider spending the night on the island itself. Several hotels are housed within the ancient walls, offering stunning views and a unique opportunity to experience the island after the day trippers have departed. Imagine waking up to the sound of the waves crashing against the ramparts and the sight of the sun rising over the bay. If you're looking for a more budget-friendly option, the mainland offers a range of hotels, guest houses, and campsites. The town of Pontorsen, located just a few kilometers from the island, is a popular base for exploring the region. No matter where you choose to stay, be sure to book your accommodation in advance, especially if you're traveling during peak season. By booking ahead, you can ensure a stress-free and enjoyable trip. While Mont Saint-Michel itself is a destination that will stay with you forever, the surrounding region offers a wealth of opportunities to delve deeper into the heart of Normandy. Just a short drive from Mont Saint-Michel lies the town of Saint-Malo, a walled city perched on the Emerald Coast. Explore the city's ramparts, wander through its cobblestone streets, and soak in the maritime atmosphere. Saint-Malo is also a great base for exploring the other Channel Islands, including Jersey and Guernsey. History buffs won't want to miss the D-Day landing beaches located a couple of hours' drive from Mont Saint-Michel. Visit the beaches of Omaha, Utah, and Juneau, where Allied forces landed on June 6, 1944. For a change of pace, head inland to the Suisse Normande, a region of rolling hills, dense forests, and picturesque villages. The Suisse Normande offers a welcome escape from the crowds and a chance to experience a different side of Normandy. Mont Saint-Michel, with its unique ecosystem and delicate tidal environment, faces ongoing challenges in preserving its beauty for future generations. The island's popularity, while a testament to its allure, also puts a strain on its resources. One of the main initiatives to protect Mont Saint-Michel is the restoration of its maritime character. The construction of a new dam and bridge completed in 2014 helps regulate the flow of water around the island preventing the buildup of sediment that threatened to connect it permanently to the mainland. This ensures that Mont Saint-Michel retains its iconic silhouette and tidal phenomenon. Visitors can contribute to sustainable tourism by choosing eco-friendly accommodation options, supporting local businesses, and respecting the environment. Opt for walking or cycling instead of driving whenever possible. Dispose of waste responsibly and avoid purchasing souvenirs made from endangered species. By being mindful travelers, we can all play a part in preserving the magic of Mont Saint-Michel for generations to come. So there you have it, fellow explorers. We've journeyed to the heart of Mont Saint-Michel, uncovering its secrets, exploring its hidden corners, and experiencing its magic. 
From its legendary abbey to its tidal treasures, this island is a destination that will stay with you long after you've left its shores. If you're planning a trip to France, be sure to add Mont Saint-Michel to your itinerary. And if you're looking for more travel inspiration, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell. We've got plenty more adventures in store. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and share it with your fellow travel enthusiasts. Let's spread the word about this incredible destination. Until next time, happy travels! Big thanks for tuning into ANC Albert News Channel. If you enjoyed the news and want to stay in the loop, hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Don't miss out on future updates, your support means the world. Stay informed, stay awesome.